Thanks for watching this episode of Surrender the Secret. Remember, this is a 10 part series. You can go online to find out more about Surrender the Secret or the um, Bible study that goes along with that Surrendering the Secret. But in partnership with Surrender the Secret is Concepts for Truth and the National Helpline for Abortion Recovery. And weekly, we have been talking with Sherry Neuenschwander, who is with the National Helpline for Abortion Recovery. She's right here in this area. And thank you so much for again joining us tonight. Thank you. Sherry, we've we've talked, we talked last week about how pastors and churches can, can help with this process of of healing from abortion, but one thing that I've heard you say over and over again is the impact of a testimony and what that can do for someone. Talk to me about the healing aspect that comes from this, this process of a testimony. Well, you know, we have this shame that we hold on to so long. And when God gives those moment, divine moments and safe times that you can give voice to your pain. Each time you do that out of obedience, you get stronger. Mm -hmm. And um, it's a healing journey and step by step, day by day. But uh, I stand amazed how God does give those opportunities and safe places and safe people. Uh, it might be on one on one or it might be um, as he gradually brings you um, out of denial and further along in the journey healing, um, he gives you an opportunity to uh, share about what God has done for you as you go through the recovery. If you go through abortion recovery, you become empowered by, by his grace and his mercy to share the truth. But not all of us are called to a public ministry. Um, but I think just like anybody who has a testimony, anybody has a testimony, needs to share and witness what God has done for them. So the power of testimony is just that, is celebrating and, and giving voice to God's grace, R recognizing the pain that you've experienced and the loss that you've experienced. And um, going into churches, that's why we talked about the power of testimony going into the churches and just sharing it to those who are hurting within the pews because that's something that stirs the heart. and assures them that God can forgive and they, can, they too can receive forgiveness. But there is something about breaking the hold of the enemy. Ah, yes. Yeah. That's what is so amazing because every time that you give voice to the truth of what God has done to you, mm -hmm. the less hold the enemy has to push you down into the, the, the uh, regretful yeah. feeling of shame. Um, and you just keep breaking, he keeps breaking those chains by giving, yeah. you know, giving you the strength to give voice. Uh, you keep breaking the chains, you keep getting stronger and God gets the glory. And that's a choice, you know. It seems like it's possible for anybody in, in a difficult past to be able to live in the chains of that. But breaking that chain, that's, that's, that's a decision to go mm. through that because I imagine getting to the point of being able to give a testimony, you have to go through hard times first. Absolutely. Well, like I said, it's a breath by breath journey. I mean, for years, like 15 years, you know, I, I dealt with panic attacks, paranoia thoughts, nightmares, overwhelming depression and sadness. And until I acknowledged the grief mm -hmm. and acknowledged that I needed to repent and turn to God and allow him to help me um, start processing and start mm -hmm. moving forward. And that's not easy. But once we trust in the Lord, he, he's gentle. And he just helps us to get to each step. One step might be to call the helpline and just say, you know, I've had the abortion, giving voice to that for the first time, mm -hmm. or coming to an abortion recovery program. Um, and, um, you know, and allowing God just to let you go deeper and deeper into that mm -hmm. healing. So it's not easy. But once you give, um, get that strength and get that hope inside of you, you can't help but share it. Now, people at home who haven't, haven't heard some of our previous uh, sessions in previous weeks might be thinking, oh, Sherry, you're just a beautiful woman who's a great spokesperson <sighs> for, for this organization. They've taught you the information very well, but that's, that's not true. Well, that is true, <laughs> but you are also a living testimony. I mean, you, you, you had two abortions yes. years ago. You've gone through the healing process yourself, and you recognize that freedom that can come through that testimony, right? Right, right. This is not easy. Um, even today, it is not easy because the enemy does not want us to voice and give testimony to God's grace. 
Um, so the enemy continues to remind us every once in a while of what we've done, but we have to speak the truth and stand on the foundation of God's truth and Absolutely. what he says Amen. and not how we feel. Yes. Trust in the Lord with all our heart, lean not on our own understanding and always acknowledge him. Emotions are fickle. You know, our feelings are fickle and the, and the battle is in the heart and the mind but greater is he that is in us mm -hmm. than he that is in the world. And so this is not easy. Um, I have to pray up and put the <laughs> armor of faith on and, and I'm determined. Um, you know, recently I just was reminded um, that I will never have grandchildren, mm -hmm. you know, uh, because, you know, I aborted my children. But, you know, and, and I had to go deeper. Yeah. I had to go deeper um, recently with the Lord. It's a lifetime journey. But God is forever faithful, mm -hmm. and I am determined to share the good news of Jesus Christ. And now that he's called me to do abortion recovery, I can help others move forward as someone did for me. Yeah. And so, yes, I've had some training, but I've had training in life, mm -hmm. grace, and mercy. And that comes from yeah. God himself. How can you encourage someone at home right now who might be thinking, yeah, I, I've been suffering in this for many mm -hmm. years. I want to make that phone call to the National Helpline. I'm, I'm scared. I've, I've lived this for so long. This has been my secret. Mm -hmm. um, how can, what, what can you say to, to encourage? I would say to them that God loves you with an everlasting love. And I know how hard it is to pick up that phone. Matter of fact, I've done that before and hung up. <laughs> But let me tell you that when you call the helpline at 1-866-482-LIFE, you will talk to someone like me who've experienced the pain of abortion. All our phone consultants have experienced the pain of abortion, but we have experienced the grace of God. Mm -hmm. And we understand right where you're at, and we know how hard it is. And I just want to encourage you to trust the Lord. Trust the Lord and just take that step. Take a deep breath and, and make that call. Um, 1-866-482-LIFE. It will be a step that you'll not regret um, and it will uh, change your life. Sherry, is that only for women who have had abortions or who can, who can call this helpline? The helpline is for anyone. Abortion touches everybody. Mm -hmm. So it's for women, men, um, even grandparents who find out, or parents who find mm. out their, their daughter or son has had an abortion, or, or grandparents who found their granddaughter. Or, I mean, anybody who's been touched by abortion because um, we all experience a loss and we all experience the grief. Um, it's different for each and every one of us, um, but uh, abortion recovery is available for everyone um, including, uh, um, uh, you know, family members who've been touched by abortion that want to go through recovery too. It's a grief, it's a loss, and it needs to be processed. So this helpline, the National Helpline for Abortion Recovery is for anyone. What a, what a wonderful ministry exists through this. I'm so, I'm just continually grateful for not only mm -hmm. what you are doing, but for everybody who's involved. I think it is just so very important. And I, I'm continually so thankful at the real, true, healing power that mm. we have through Jesus Christ. You know, Amen. he can take things <laughs> that seem like it is hopeless, that people even here on earth want to just give us medication for, or want to give us just counseling for, or want to, but he can take it and make us whole again, and then allow us to not forget where we were, but look back and say, wow, look what God has done yeah. through that. Yes, God is close to the brokenhearted and the crushed yeah. in spirit, amen. And he reaches down into the dark, dark pit and he just brings us out into the light and uh, just loves us, yeah. amen. And I love the fact that you're quoting scripture. She's quoted a lot of scripture <laughs> as she sat here and talked. And do you know how important that is? I don't know if you do a lot of Bible reading yourself. It does take discipline, it takes time, but yeah. I encourage you to open up that Bible and recognize that that living, breathing word of God is something that it could also start to provide healing in you way deep down inside in those parts that nobody sees, that secret life of yours that exists only between you and God. And God truly has scripture that he can use that might just uplift you right now. So I encourage you, even when we're done here, to go find your Bible and take some time and even if you just read one chapter in a psalm. Start in Matthew. You can even start in Genesis, to be honest. It doesn't matter where you are in that Bible. God can use it. Don't forget that our helpline, well, our prayer line is available for you. That's 419-339-3000. But we definitely want you to know about the National Helpline for Abortion Recovery, 1-866-482-LIFE. 
More Surrender the Secret next Friday, and we'll also hear more from Sherry Neuenschwander.